So we are heading to Matagalpa to go and visit a coffee farm. It's basically the perfect place to get a nice brew. Let's go taste some coffee. So we've had a bit of a disaster. I stalled it coming up the hill, dropped it on its side. Now we've got a broken foot pedal. Wait a second, before we say anything, look at this rocking chairs. <laughs> They love their rocking chairs here in Nicaragua. Yes! <laughs> so this place is like a really big complex. It's got like a lake right next to us. It's got like a children's area. It's got some geese over here. <laughs> this is like a really elaborate coffee farm, like a whole tourist experience. The only thing is I can't see any, any coffee plants <laughs> around. But anyway, we're going to take a little walk around the grounds um, and see if we can find some coffee plants. We came off the trail to find some coffee plants. And we have. <laughs> ah, here it is, the bush of dreams. So they call the coffee here shade grown coffee because actually the bushes are just here about this tall, about two meters tall. And they are below a canopy of much bigger trees. So actually the whole coffee field is like a sort of under canopy field, like in the forest basically. So it's quite cool because you've got like, you're sort of in a forest, but then in between you've got all these like little bushes. So the whole farming process here feels quite natural. And I mean, there's still space for the birds and other animals to be in, like monkeys and sloths which I think they have around this area. Yeah, and when you pick as well, you are always nice shaded and not in the pure sun, which is quite nice. <laughs> Only a fruit picker would think like, oh yeah, this would be a good, this would be good for pickers. <laughs> yeah, we picked a lot of fruit in our time. Anyway, it isn't unfortunately coffee season at the moment. So they would have picked all the berries in February. So we're like, a bit too late, unfortunately. So we can't actually see them doing the whole process, but we managed to at least see the plants, taste the coffee, break the foot pedal. <laughs> what more could you want? A very naughty picker was on this tree here because look, I found one. There it is. That is a coffee berry on the plant. Uh, cool. Should we pick it? Yes, of course. Here we go. Oop. Ho ho! That is it. This beautiful little red berry. As far as I'm aware, they would dry it, roast it, and then it would end up as a coffee bean, I guess. It's pretty cool. Welcome to Nicaragua! <laughs> 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 All right, now we have to face the reality of not having the foot pedal on the clutch side and we're going to see how easy or difficult it is to drive or to ride. Ciao, ciao! All right, let's see. Okay. So I just need to find this little bit of the clutch pedal. Oh yeah, no, that's okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm resting my foot on the, basically the bit where the clutch pedal attaches to the body. Uh, yeah. There's this like little knobbly bit that sticks out and I can just sort of rest my heel on it. And let me just try changing gear. Where's the gear shifter? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's up here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. I just need to get used to where it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But actually I can rest my foot. Uh huh on the clutch lever, can I? Oh, I don't know. Okay, the clutch lever is a bit higher than I was expecting, all right. Okay. But yeah. I mean, at least there is a little something to rest my foot on. I don't have to just let it hover or flop around. Yeah. I'm just gonna hang on here because yeah, good idea. this is too bad terrain. Yeah. But yeah, I think it's possible. I, let's see if I can show the camera. I put my foot on this little thing here and then I should be able to just about keep it going. Yeah, I mean, some days are just not um, good days, hey? Today we are not very lucky. No, we missed the last coffee tour. Yeah. We broke the foot pedal. Yeah. And lost an iPhone cable, apparently. We just found out as well. Yeah. So there you go. You can't win every day, hey? Fortunately not. 
So we've contacted a few Suzuki um, parts places or garages in the capital of Honduras, which we're going towards anyway, but that's like our secondary solution. Our more immediate idea is basically in the next big town, we're gonna go to a moto shop, show them the problem and see if A, they can weld something for us or B, like stick it back together or I don't know, do something basically to get that foot pedal reattached. Yeah, let's see how creative the people here are, hey? <laughs> At least Bumblebee is still rolling. Engine's good. <laughs> That's the most important thing. Oh man. So I think in this town, there's actually a whole bunch of moto mechanics. We've searched one on the map. Should be one just up ahead. Yeah, we just picked the first one entering the town. So let's see what's going on, hey? Yeah. Look how nice and colorful it is here. Mm. That's beautiful. This town's called Ginotega somewhere just here okay should be a motorcycle mechanic yeah probably just this fella here inside no oh is this one closed i don't know if it's like behind or in I front think but same. everyone seems to be closed to be honest let me see yeah uh like there's some stuff going on over here this place is closed yeah in this place is closed Industria. that place is closed what's that taler yeah, Taler. Okay, let me try here. Okay. I mean, I don't know if it's a motorcycle mechanic, but maybe he uh, can like weld? Yeah, let's ask him. Okay. Hola. No, he said there's a motorcycle mechanic next to us, so we'll go around. Okay. So this motorcycle mechanic, which was next door to the first place we tried, they weren't actually open. They were just like watching TV, but they were super nice and said, um, yeah, we're going to try and help you basically. <laughs> Nearly did something there. Okay. See. Okay. Okay. See? So Tito here, he tried to call some people to help us because basically he has the ability to weld, but because this is an aluminium pedal, he said he needs like an aluminium rod in order to weld it and he doesn't have any and every store was closed because it's like a public holiday today so he called around a couple of people and he managed to find the piece of aluminium that we need and so basically we're just waiting for that piece to arrive and then basically he can fix it for us right now that's so good so good news and he wasn't even open that's so nice they were just like watching tv in the back but then like i just walked up and was just like hello and then they just were like okay we'll help you <laughs> That's nice. One hour later. So it's currently half past six, and we're just trying to see if it's possible to do this today. We will try to fix the aluminum bar, uh, just to attach the, the spare to the motorbike, but they need to contact two persons just to keep the same price. Okay. And it's gonna be done today. Okay. So you're gonna solve it. Yeah. And they're gonna do it. Amazing. <laughs> La voy a ir a echar en la cajita Ajá. para que, o sea, se conserven ahorita mientras voy a traer al brother para que haga el trabajo. Okay, so he's going to store it just in the box right now and then he's going to bring a guy. Okay. He's going to bring a machine and uh -huh. he's going to make it work. Okay. So apparently the aluminium just arrived. Muchas gracias. I said aluminium because I'm, I have the <laughs> North American accent. <laughs> oh, muy bien. Yes. So actually, the foot pedal bracket has to be taken off first. Then I think we're gonna go take that over to the machine and basically weld it back together, then put it back on again, I think. <laughs> okay, we are going off to go and get this part welded. Apparently the welding machine, <laughs> bye. Apparently the welding machine is not here, so we're going somewhere else. And I'm holding the parts. Oh boy. 
Hola, buenas. Look at this place, full of tools. Mucha máquina. <laughs> Whoa. So it looks like he's grinding down the surface to make it ready to weld. Bumblebee gonna get fixed. Okay, apparently this is gonna be very bright. Holy guacamole. Okay, I've got my eyes closed, so I'll have to check the footage after. Oh, crazy. That must be like super hot. 34. Oh, and quanto años? 19. 19. No way. Whoa. Wow. Crazy. Look at that. Just like that. Bumblebee is back in one piece. Your master. Master. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Gracias. Ciao, ciao. There we go. Part is welded. Now it's just time to get that back on Bumblebee. Whew, we're ready to go. When two pieces become one piece. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. No way. She saw all of these and she rescued us. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Tito, tala de moto. <laughs> That's nice. Really, really cute letters from the sweet girls here. Look how sweet. Ah, oh, I love them. <laughs> Look, they made us like a love made in Nicaragua. Then here as well. But love. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias. <laughs> really sweet. I'm really happy. <laughs> the guys here are just amazing. Really, really friendly. We just feel like part of the family already. I will miss you. <laughs> Muchas gracias, amigo. Thank you. Gracias. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. Take care, Captain. Thank you. I'm so glad to know you guys. Such a pleasure, you know. Take care, you know. We will try. Oh, gracias. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. No dropping the bike now. <laughs> it works. Woo! <laughs> ciao ciao! <laughs> ciao ciao! Ciao ciao! <laughs> wow, it's like 10 p.m. right now. Oh wow! What a great family, really. What a great family. Yeah, and so, so generous as well. Like that, that Tito was just helping us the whole time. And he even paid for the aluminium to the other guy to do the welding. No and way. He, yeah, yeah. And then he said, oh, we'll sort it out later to me. No and way. And I asked him just at the end how much we owed him for everything. Okay. And he just said, no, nothing. I gave him money and he was like throwing it back to me. And he's like, no, no, I don't take any money from you. Yeah. I don't want any money from you. Yeah, it's crazy, you know, because he was like working to help us for like hours trying to sort out getting, getting the aluminium getting the parts you know taking me over to this uh, guy to get it welded and yeah. then fitting it all back on yeah what a lovely guy to help us out with that and then at the end he doesn't want anything from us that's just that's just incredible good evening guys we made it happy and alive <laughs> yeah we've made our way to this nice little hotel room we just had a really late dinner of some cheese sandwiches because it is like nearly 11 o'clock yeah wow it was a really really crazy evening and i'm so glad that we could sort out the foot pedal problem because after we dropped the bike and the foot pedal broke off it's like i was super stressed because we have like no time to sort this out and we had like a crazy schedule to keep on and we just didn't really know what to do and when we arrived there and tito basically took us under his wing yes. and was just like Guys, I'm gonna get this sorted for you one way or another. And it took him most of the evening, like well into the evening, but 
he got it sorted. It's yeah. unbelievable. He's an absolute hero. I just can't believe it, really. I just can't believe it. And his whole family was so incredibly nice. I really felt like being part of this family, you know. And at the end to say goodbye, I already miss them, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, so cute, so warm and nice. And you got love letters. <laughs> and I got love letters. Oh my God, I'm so in love with this family. Unbelievable. I mean, keep in mind that they weren't even open to begin with. This is a public holiday today. Tito and his friend were just like watching a movie and then Tito's mother were, like brought me over to the workshop and was just like, help these guys out. Yes. And Tito's like, all right. <laughs> But if it wasn't for Len's help, being our interpreter and like translating everything between them and us, then we would have had no chance of sorting this out. So Len, you're an absolute legend. Absolutely legend. So thank you so much, Len. Thank you so much, Tito. You guys saved our lives. So Bumblebee is ready to hit the road tomorrow and we're ready for bed. Oh yes. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.